Hello, how are you? We are here again. Above all, greet you. I hope you are all very well, because we are all perfectly fine now. Let's move forward. All vaccinated and all very well, eh? Today we are going to make a very easy and fresh recipe, because right now as we are here we are very hot. So we are going to make a fresh and very easy recipe to make. I hope you follow me. I have seen you. I am very happy with all the followers I have. I have more and more subscribers. I am super happy and I thank you very much. I always thank you for everyone who is watching me and those who are following me. Look here at what we are going to prepare. We are going to prepare a recipe called stuffed eggs. Okay, as I said, it's a fresh recipe and look at it here and I have everything prepared. Look at the main thing, the eggs. Here I have boiled 8 boiled and peeled eggs. The eggs are cooked in 10 minutes. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I haven't cooked it because in order not to wait for it to cool down, then you have to cook it and when they come off the heat they go directly into the stream of cold water. If you do this, you're going to lose your skin. Very, very, very. You add a handful of salt when cooking and then you remove the hot water and pour cold water and cool them with water that cools and then they will peel. Very well. Having said that, it is a little advice. We have 8 eggs here. We have a tomato sauce for the filling. These are some trout eggs, but hey, you can put half olives on this to decorate, but then you'll see, you should put whatever you want. Lemon cut into slices, which is also to decorate as the egg does not have more. I have prepared a platter with lettuce for a bed to put the eggs and tuna on and here I have a this is natural tuna. I use natural tuna, nothing, neither with oil nor pickled or anything, but natural so that it gives it its own flavor from the egg with the mayonnaise. And here I have prepared the mayonnaise for that. I have it put in a pastry bag. You can buy this anywhere they are used for pastry items. Look and see, look. You see it now we cut off its beaks and it is to decorate it. You can also do this with a spoon, but it is to make it a little more beautiful. This, this is disposable. I don't like fabric piping bags, but rather disposable ones. Well, look, let's start separating this a little bit and let's get started. To start, let's go. Here I have the mixing glass. This is where we are going to add the yolk. The eggs are cut in the middle, not in half, and we take out the yolks and put them in the blender glass. All the yolk and here we reserve the half yolks, the half eggs to fill them. This is very easy. It is a very short video, a very easy, very economical recipe for some starters that we want to make for dinner and we want to put some starters while we put dinner on one night, a very hot night. Some eggs. I do it a lot in the summer, especially in the summer, because you want more cool things. See it break in the middle, not in half so that the egg comes out halfway. And we're going to remove everything that's the yolk by the yolks now. We are going to mash them with the tuna and tomato sauce. You don't have to add salt or anything. With the tomato sauce it already has its saltiness. Tuna, although it is natural, always gives the flavor and you have to leave things not too salty. Not good. A lot of salt. Okay, let's go with the last one. All right, this is the last one. I'm going to make 8 eggs, which would be 16 and a half. But hey, you can make 10-15 depending on who you are. Me, it seems to me that this source is more or less a good source. Well, we already have it. The yolks, do you see them? The yolks placed here. Well, now the yolks. What we are going to add is going to be the cans of tuna. These cans are 30 grams. I'm going to add 2 cans of natural tuna. It would be 60 grams of tuna. Okay, it would be 60 grams, 2 cans of 30 in case you buy a 60 gram can of 80 grams. It can also be depending on the amount you are going to make. I am giving it to you. The amount for 8 eggs. The filling of 8 eggs. We take advantage of everything. Now we are going to add a little bit of how we are going to add half a glass of fried tomato tomato sauce. More or less like that. If we see that it is very thick we can add more. But if not, I think that with this half glass we have enough and now all we have to do is put it in the blender. Blend it very well. Now we are going to bother you a little with the noise. 
Leave me a moment. I grind it and we continue. Well, look at this. That's it. Okay. I had to add a little tomato because I thought it was a little thick. You see that? It has to be thick, but... It didn't move very well with always unplugging the... Beater arm. Unplug it before stopping it. Okay. You have to work safely. Now you see that I am working with gloves because you know that they're handling food with their hands. So I have painted nails and such. And then you always have to have very clean hands and some gloves on. Well look at this. This. It's crushed. Now all we have to do is with a spoon. We put a little bit of what is in the middle to each egg in. We are settling into the bed. This one we made from lettuce. That's it. This is super easy. We are arranging them here on the bed of lettuce and placing them. He puts it in with a spoon and helping with a spoon. See? And I have the gloves because I'm holding them with my hands. So, whenever you handle food with your hands, it is good to wear gloves or gloves. You buy them anywhere. These days there are kitchen gloves everywhere. Just like I told you about the pastry bag and anywhere there is a pastry bag where they sell baking utensils. I like to use the pastry bag. Hey, don't fall. To use and throw away because those that are washed later are not the most honest, things remain and no. At least they wash well. Let's make a nice fountain. This source. I'm telling you, for a day when you want to surprise some guests or for a night for you to have a cool dinner. I make it a lot for dinner. We make it fresh. Let's see. If they catch everything. If I'm placing them correctly. Why? I don't know if I'm placing it correctly. I think I'm placing it well so that everyone can catch me. And well, and now you're going to tell me when you're going to do them. If you do it, then you're going to tell me if it turned out well, if you like it. I think this recipe is very easy and economical because you realize how few products it uses. Practically from its own yolk, it makes a filling with two cans of fried tomato tuna. The filling is already made. I'm going to put a little bit of trout caviar on it because I have it here. I've been craving it, but you can put a little piece of bell pepper on top. You can put half a little olives on it. It doesn't have to be caviar either, but I have it and I like pretty things. Let's see. Let's say that I'm missing one here. There. I believe here. I don't know when I'm going to wear it. We'll put you here. That's how it is. Well, this is it. They see him? This is stuffed. Now what we are going to put in it. You have to cut the little bit off the sleeve to add a little more. Let's see if with the knife, because I had to have taken scissors. Yes, with the knife it turned out well. And now what we are going to do is put a little mayonnaise on top of each one. Just a little mayonnaise. On top. Like this a little bit. Spot. See? A little mayonnaise. Do you see what this looks like? No. Well, now what we are going to do is with a spoon. Caviar row. This is for decoration. I say that. Look, you put this on it. You can add half an olive, a small piece of bell pepper, Black caviar, of course, red caviar. I bought this one. Because the trout row with the tuna gives it a very good contrast, a very delicate flavor. Trout eggs have a very delicate flavor, so we add a little bit and it has a very different flavor. Well, this, as you are seeing, is not very complicated either. It is a very easy recipe to make, very economical. 
Because the thing that may be a little more expensive may be the shower water, but it is not that expensive or that expensive either. A small jar is not worth that much. Oh, I think it's all there. And now the little lemons, look, they are little slices. Okay, now. What I do with the knife is that I give them a little cut in the middle, just half, and we do it like this, we put it like this. Then it is put here. Open it is being put around him. This is to simply present the source. A little ornament. I think that with this you have much more. You don't need it. Well, and this is my special trout egg deviled egg platter for a special night. For a special day. I hope you like it. Okay, so here is today's recipe. I think it has been a very easy recipe to make, very economical and very good. And you will see how if you try it you will like it. And what I always tell you, keep subscribing. Keep following me so that I continue making videos and I have made many videos, so go to my page and you will see how many things I have. Uploads. Okay, I'm glad that I hope you're all well and greetings, I'm very happy until next time.